Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Wow, welcome back, Dukes and Duke It's your man Eddie Ed. You watching Eddie Ed TV? We have another food video. This is going to be from um, Insider Food. Insider Food. Please do not copyright strike your man's. Is. I know they probably might. Um, so you might be seeing this on shorts if I don't post this video. And I guess it don't even matter, man. But let's hop straight into it, man. Popular fast food restaurants in every state. From cult favorites to local institutions, here is each state's favorite fast food restaurant. You can only get Milo's hamburgers in Alabama. Milo. The Milo's original burger consists of a fresh grilled patty, its famous secret sauce, onions, and pickles. That patty looks kind of Tommy's Burger weak. Stop is a small diner in Anchorage that specializes in Cajun-influenced burgers and po' boys. Mm. Its burgers are humongous. Now, I like a burger with a nice crispy onion ring. I like a burger with a nice crispy onion ring. And that onion ring looks very nice and delightful and packed with flavor. Known for its large portions, you can depend on Filiberto's for your Mexican food cravings. The favorite thing on the menu is the Arizona burrito, made of carne asada, pico de gallo, potatoes, and cheese. Slim Chickens is the go-to fast food chain in Northwest Arkansas. Oh, it wow. I didn't know that. Chicken tenders, and there are 17 dipping sauces to choose from. You'll be hard pressed to find a Californian who doesn't. Oh, not nah, now, nah, now. Nah. Okay, In and Out. In and Out. I have never had before, but the burgers, I'm telling you, the bu those burgers look so good, man. I heard people like want to compare In and Out versus um, Whataburger. Whataburger, I don't like Whataburger. Whataburger burgers to me is not it. I don't, hey, people that like Whataburger, I guess they, you know, that's good for them. I, when I had it, I didn't like it. I think it's the bread. The bread is, the patty, nah, the whole burger. The patty and the bread is, is, is not, it's not it. The, the quality of the patty is not good. The, the, the thickness of the bread is, 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 is not, it don't work for me. But in and out burgers, the patties and the bread looks like it fits together. I never had it before, like I said, but I'm, I'm very curious to try it and I, from just off looks, I think it beats the Whataburger burger. And if you don't like that statement, drop it down in the comments. Let me know. Yeah. It's not so secret menu includes the animal style burgers and fries. You can even get a burger with a lettuce bun. Ooh, for the, the healthy first people. Chipotle opened in Denver in 1993. Chipotle. It's multiplied to over 2,600 U.S. locations. While burritos, bowls, and tacos are just has some today. Orders, Chipotle's secret menu includes quesadillas and loaded nachos. Quesadillas. Duchess is a 14 restaurant chain found only in Connecticut. Oh, Duchess. It has all day breakfast platters, but the crown jewels are the breakfast Ooh, the French toast. Friotti's is a 14 restaurant. I think that French toast, we had to go back. I think that French toast is a Texas toast. Restaurant chain found only in Connecticut. It has all day breakfast. Yeah, it's big like Texas toast, bro. Look at the crown jewels are the breakfast sandwiches. Capriati's is known for its turkey subs and cheese steaks. The signature Ooh. is the Bobby, which is Bobby. basically Thanksgiving on a roll. People love Pollo Tropical for its juicy chicken and Caribbean. Oh no, they get they they ah oh, no. I mean Pollo Tropical is good, but over the years it's been dying. It's been dying in quality, man. They put that for Florida. Why they did that to us? I don't, I don't think that's a good representation. I'm just saying. Flavors. Its chicken is marinated for hours and flame grilled for the best flavor. Fast food giant Chick-fil-A was founded in it. Now, I would say back in the day, Pollo Tropique was delicious. I'm telling you, Pollo Tropical back in the day, I mean, they had like ribs over there. They had like beef. Bro, everything they made was just like, oh my, my. It was good. But now, like, they done changed, like, I don't know, sources of where they get their stuff. And it's, like, dry. Like, it's some it's some mummy meat out there. It's crazy. Atlanta in 1967. Atlanta. Since then, it's opened about 2,600 U.S. locations. Let's get it. The waffle fries are the most ordered menu item, even beating out the original chicken sandwich. 
people go to Zippy's for local comfort food in Hawaii. It serves both classic diner food and Hawaiian style food, such as Simon and Chili Moco. Boise Fry Company has great burgers, but it's famous for its French fries. French fries. You can choose from six kinds of potatoes and five different cuts. Wow. Not to mention the nine dipping sauces, hey. which include blueberry ketchup and pumpkin ale. Blueberry ketchup. Quichillas wow. is known for its Chicago style hot dog. Oh, no, they could have mustard, that. relish, onions, tomato, pickles, sport peppers, a pickle and on celery a hot salt. Dog. Wow. Ooh, but its best kept secret is the cake shake, which has a whole slice of chocolate cake in it. Are you are you going to sleep? You You're not surviving that. Diner vibe with its breakfast burgers and milkshakes. Customers love the. Is that steak and shake? Frisco melt, the restaurant's version of a patty melt. Oh yeah, the Frisco melt. I'm telling you, from steak and shake, what have you? Shake. But not wake up. Shake, but not wake. I was trying to rhyme. But, man, those patty melts, I'm telling you, they, they are good. I never had a shake from shake from Steak and Shake. I never had one. But their fries, them thin cut fries, I love them. I know people that don't like the skinny fries. I like them. You could grab a whole bunch of them, put any, you know, stuff in it. The burger, though, really good. Now, once again, I, I think it depends where you are. And I think now, in today's time... It's the quality of a lot of fast food joints have died down. And, you know, maybe in some locations it still might be A1. But from where I've been over here, man, it's been it's been worse. I'm like, bro, is this steak and shake or steak and fake? No? Okay. Made Right specializes in loose meat sandwiches. Loose meat, pause. With huh? sauce. But there's a secret spice blend that packs oh, a punch. Son. Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers is known mm. for its friendly service, retro vibe, mm. and delicious steak burgers. Dang, that look good. It also serves some unforgettable What do you got the Freddy's at? Hey, if you know anywhere that got Fre Well, if you know any place in Florida that has Freddy's, send me the Addy. I need that. I need, like, bro, the burgers. I like them thin patties with multiple patties. We need that. On Sundays. While the original recipe was created in Kentucky, KFC has become a worldwide phenomenon. It's the world's worldwide second largest world. restaurant chain after McDonald's. At this point, we don't even we don't even know if they have real chicken over there at KFC. They probably using some lab chicken, bro. I I didn't see some videos, so I'm just saying it's out there. Don't blame me. Blame whoever put it out. While Popeyes was founded in New Orleans in 1972. We're choosing Raising Cane's for its chicken fingers. What? With roughly seven items on the menu, an emphasis is put on quality over quantity. It's good though, the it's good. The High Roller Lobster Co. makes Ooh. awesome lobster rolls and burgers. Another must have Ooh. is the Lobster Cheese Crisp Taco. Ford Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm over here sound like some kind of, my cousin said I sound like a, um, a, like Mario and them. Luigi, you. Let, here we go. Um, but bro, let's go back to bro. I now I like seafood and seafood on burgers might be a good thing. I never had it personally, but I like seafood. I like burgers. Put them together, it might be a marriage. But look at that right there, though. Don't that just for the for the seafood lovers and the burger lovers, bro? That looked like a good time. But that's a big bite, though. You like, have you ever caught? Some kind of jaw cramp or like locked jaw from trying to bite a burger that's hard to even open your mouth for. Like I've had that happen. That look like it's gonna be a challenge to bite, but man, don't that look like a delight. Another must have is the lobster cheese crisp taco. Now the crisp tacos look delightful. I wanna bite something like that. I gotta have the Addy, man. Drop it. Boardwalk Fries serves some of the best fries in Maryland. Its fries are cooked multiple times, Ooh. lightly salted, and served fresh. Multiple times. America for runs the on Dunkin', but Massachusetts. Hold on, we have to show appreciation to the multiple times, and the um, because we know like when you cook fries multiple times, the crisp is 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 present. Ooh. Multiple time fry crisps. Man, I can hear the crisp and the crunch in my ears. The dipping sauce. 
allows the fry to be baptized. Mm. And depending on which sauce it is dipped, is blessed and is and is dipped in that spirit of sauciness. I'm gonna take you to church right now. No, <clears throat> no, I'm not. I'm not. We coming back to reality, man. No fries. Fried multiple times, and it don't even look burnt. It's not even burnt, y'all. It is still in good brown color shape. It's not even all that brown. Look at the one on the right. It's like it's still light skin. The one on the left is a little brown. But the point is, we know that crisp is going to be on point. Lightly salted and served fresh. America runs on Dunkin', but Massachusetts is where it was birthed. Known for its fast service and affordable prices, Dunkin' is a That's reliable true. place it is affordable to get a prices. quick bite and even faster coffee. I don't know about the food, though. Leo's That's, Coney Island know. is a restaurant chain found specifically in Michigan. It's popular for the breakfast and Greek specialties like gyros and Greek salad. Dairy Queen is headquartered in nah, Minneapolis. we ain't mess with Dairy Queen. Its most well-known item is the DQ Blizzard, which has more than 20 nah. flavors to choose from. Anything that, Zaxby's anything that has a name, talking about some D, 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 nah has more than 900 locations mostly in the south it's known for its chicken finger plate, zaxby's which includes too salty for me with texas toast zaxby's claw, way too salty for me fries, zax sauce and a 22 ounce drink lion's choice specializes in roast mm. beef sandwiches nah, mainly in the st louis area these sandwiches are made of real top round beef and served medium rare yeah I'm pickle good. barrel makes some of the best cheese steaks and subs in montana they're made with fresh ingredients and are generous i don't mess with cold cuts man you be smelling like dog when you sweat well anybody that eat cold cuts no like your neck sweat the forehead every sweat bro you're gonna be smelling so stanky you're gonna, I'm telling you, you're gonna be smelling like raw meat, bro. Don't eat cup. If you wanna stay from cancer and smell better when you sweat, don't eat no cold cuts, man. I'm thinking gonna make you smell terrible. Anza is a classic Nebraskan food. It's basically a hot pocket with beef, cabbage, and onions that originated from Nebraska's German and Russian immigrant populations. Mmm. Board of subs. I saw some like corn fresh, dogs. I like corn dogs. subs. Ranging from 5 to 24 inches. Similar to Subway, it has an assembly line set up for a quick meal to go. Mr. Mac specializes in mac and cheese. Ooh. It offers 21 flavors. Now this better be the best mac and cheese spot. This better be the best mac and cheese spot if you're talking all that. Like that cheese pool was crazy. But how's the flavor? Because we already know like anything could be cheesy. But... The flavor got to be on point. You you can't have something that's like really nice and cheesy and looking like how this is looking and you can't even taste anything. I hate food that look good, look so good, but then when you bite on it, you can't taste nothing. You got tricked. That was deception. So we don't like this the deceptive looking foods. We want you to look fine and look good at the same time. Including the Taco Mac and Pizza Mac. Jersey Mike's mm. is known for its quick serve and fresh hoagies. One of its most popular sandwiches is the turkey and provolone. Blake's Lotta Burger was founded in Albuquerque. The signature is the Lotta Burger with green chili and cheese. It's said that the Lotta Burger was a large contributor to popularizing green chilies on hamburgers. Shake Shack started Shake as a hot dog cart inside Madison Square Park in New York City. As Not it grew good, into baby. a park stand and then multi-restaurant chain, it expanded Ooh. the menu to include burgers, fries, and frozen custards. Ooh. Even today, the Innovation Kitchen at the West Village location is trying out test items. The foundation of Bojangles is its fried Bojangles. chicken and biscuits. Other Shout out to are Coach the Josh. Filet biscuit and the Bow Berry Biscuit. Bowberry. Space Aliens Grill and Bar is an outer space themed restaurant chain found ah. in North Dakota and Minnesota. They can keep the that. The fun decor is filled with neon lights, alien statues, and arcade games. Skyline Chili is known for its three way dish, consisting of spaghetti, chili, and Oh, cheese. I thought that was. In oh, fact, that is you can top most menu items with Cincinnati style chili and a mountain of cheese. That's just too Sonic much. Sonic is man. headquartered in Oklahoma City. Its iconic drive-up layout makes ordering quick and in-car dining What's easy. This? Popular menu Sonic. items are the foot-long hot dog and nah, I won't mess with those. Burgerville is a restaurant chain popular in Oregon and Southwest Washington. 
Its burgers and milkshakes are staples, but it's the seasonal items that people look forward to. Another fun fact is the chain uses 100% wind power for all its restaurants. Wawa isn't just a convenience store, but a way of life for Pennsylvanians. Hoagies, wow. coffee, gas, breakfast, snacks, just name it, and like you can that, get huh? it at Wawa. Oneyville New York system New is York. known for its hot wieners and coffee milk. The hot wieners are topped with yellow mustard, meat sauce, and chopped onions. Waffle House is a southern staple. Whether you're going in for an early breakfast or a late night meal, you can find dependable 24-hour service and delicious food. Giliberto's Mexican Taco Shop has two locations in South Dakota. It serves mouth-watering Mexican food, such as carne asada and carnitas tacos. Crystal is a southern fast food chain founded in Tennessee. It's known for its iconic sliders, similar to White Castle. Hey, don't White Castle. don't underestimate this small sandwich. It's the most popular thing on the menu. Texans love Whataburger a lot. Its patties are served on a five inch diameter bun, making it bigger than a lot of other burgers. Other standouts are the patty melt and honey butter chicken biscuit. Crown Burgers serves both fast food and Greek cuisine, but its claim to fame is the Crown Burger a cheeseburger with lots of pastrami. Al's French I'm Fries good. is a small town burger joint in South Burlington. It's been serving burgers and fries to Vermont locals since 19 Those are some chunky fries. Biscuitville is a popular fast food chain in Virginia and North Carolina. It specializes in Southern breakfast classics like biscuit sandwiches, grits, country ham, and hash browns. Hey. Dick's Drive-In is a Seattle-based fast food chain that focuses on burgers, fries, and shakes. Its signature burger, the Dick's Deluxe, is simple but delicious. Tudor's Biscuit World is a restaurant chain commonly found in West Virginia, specializing in breakfast bro. and biscuits. Culver's is a Wisconsin favorite. Culver's. The must-haves are the butter burger Never with been. the frozen custard. And since it's Wisconsin, you've got to try the fried cheese curds. Oh, the cheese curds. Taco okay. John's was founded in Cheyenne in 1968. Since then, its tacos have made it Taco all over the John's. Midwest and Rocky Mountain region. Popular wow, menu never items heard of that. are the quesadilla taco and potato olés. While they aren't technically states, here are the favorite fast food restaurants from Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico! Rico. Chili Bowl is beloved in Washington, D.C. Regulars order the half smoke smothered in homemade beef chili. El Maison Sandwiches is Puerto Rico's largest restaurant chain with 37 locations. What foods do you think we should cover next? Let us know in the comments below. I'm calling out all food lovers, man. If you love eating food, good food, drop your favorite state one down in the comments, man. I can already say like I, I liked a lot of the a lot of the burger joints that I saw, but I'm gonna have to go with In and Out on that on that burger. I want to try that. Um, and that one burger that had the, um, they had the onion ring in it. I want to try that one as well. A lot of good stuff on there, man. But drop in the comments, uh, which state you're from. And which state's fast food joint you would pick to eat from? It's your man, Eddie Ed. You watch Eddie Ed TV. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button and comment down below. I'm out. Catch you guys next video. Peace. Oh.